In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro discusses the current political landscape in the United States, focusing on the 2024 presidential race. He provides insights into the strategies and challenges faced by both the Democratic and Republican parties, as well as the potential candidates and their positions on key issues. Shapiro discusses the challenges faced by Joe Biden in his re-election campaign. According to the Washington Post, Biden is holding private meetings at the White House to reassure his supporters due to his declining poll numbers. There are concerns about his age and energy, and he is seeking support from young voters. He highlights the concerns within the Democratic Party about Biden's re-election efforts, including meetings organized by Jeffrey Katzenberg, a prominent figure in Hollywood and the Democratic Party. Shapiro also mentions that even Democrats are expressing worries about Biden's ability to lead, as evidenced by Jimmy Kimmel's mocking of Biden in a comedy skit. He emphasizes the disconnect between Biden and his own party, as well as the reliance of the Democratic campaign on attacking Donald Trump. Shapiro discusses Donald Trump's position in the 2024 race, noting that he is currently leading in the polls and has a significant advantage over other potential Republican candidates. Trump is portrayed as a strong and dominant figure within the party, with a loyal base of supporters. Shapiro highlights Trump's ability to pivot towards the general election and moderate his stance on certain issues, such as abortion and immigration, in order to appeal to a broader audience. Shapiro discusses the dynamics between potential Republican candidates, particularly Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. He highlights their strategies and attacks against each other, as well as their positioning in the race. Shapiro emphasizes the importance of the Iowa caucuses and the impact of endorsements and campaign strategies on the candidates' prospects. Shapiro expresses frustration with the lack of legislative progress in Congress, attributing it to the polarization of the parties and the focus on political posturing. He criticizes the spectacle of Hunter Biden's appearance on Capitol Hill, describing it as a waste of time and a distraction from important issues. He highlights the performative nature of congressional hearings, where members engage in grandstanding and political theater rather than focusing on meaningful legislative work. Shapiro discusses the negative impact of Hunter Biden's controversies on Joe Biden's presidency. He argues that any attention on Hunter Biden is detrimental to Joe Biden as it brings to light allegations of corruption and unethical behavior. He points out that the Biden family's business dealings have raised concerns about potential corruption and that the focus on Hunter Biden's testimony only serves to further tarnish Joe Biden's reputation. Shapiro criticizes the ineffectiveness of Congress, attributing it to the polarization of the parties and the lack of meaningful dialogue and compromise. He argues that members of Congress are more focused on gaining camera time and advancing their own careers than on addressing the needs of the country. He highlights the lack of progress on important issues such as border security and budget negotiations due to the partisan gridlock and political posturing. Shapiro discusses the Biden administration's handling of border security and foreign policy, particularly in relation to the conflict between Israel and Hamas. He criticizes the administration's response to the crisis, arguing that it has failed to take a strong stance against Hamas and has instead catered to radical ideologies. He highlights the administration's reluctance to confront Hamas and its efforts to prop up Mahmoud Abbas as a solution to the conflict. Shapiro addresses the international implications of the Biden administration's policies, particularly in relation to the conflict in the Middle East. He criticizes the administration's approach to diplomacy and its willingness to engage with leaders who have controversial or extremist views. He highlights the administration's engagement with Mahmoud Abbas, a leader who has denied the Holocaust as an example of its misguided approach to international relations.